Welcome to Fact You Need to Know channel, where we share stories about the geography and culture of countries around the world. Sweden, a northern European country famous for its pristine natural beauty and unique cultural heritage. Here, vast forests and crystal clear lakes stretch endlessly, creating a magnificent and peaceful landscape. But Sweden is not just about stunning scenery, it's also the birthplace of pioneering innovations, leading the way in technology, education, and sustainable development. With an advanced social welfare system and comprehensive equality policies, Sweden is seen as a symbol of balanced development and happiness. Beyond its reputation, the country also boasts a diverse and creative culture, from music, film, to cuisine, all contribute to creating the country's unique style. On this journey, let's dive deeper into the special allure of Sweden. When it comes to Sweden, many people will think of Zlatan Ibrahimovic, a famous football star of this country. His parents are not Swedish, which will be discussed in the demographic section of this country. So, where is Sweden located? Sweden is located in the Scandinavian region of Northern Europe. This country is covered by vast and lush forests that occupy most of its area. It also has over 1,000 lakes scattered throughout the country, along with more than 24,000 islands of various sizes. Sweden has an area of about 449,000 square kilometers, making it the fifth largest country in Europe. The total population of Sweden is 10.4 million people. On average, one in six Swedes is an immigrant. The country is bordered by Norway to the west, Finland to the east, and the northern part of Sweden is called the land of the midnight sun because during the summer months, the sun never sets in here. Watching the sun at night is in unique experiences in Sweden. Due to its geographical location near the Arctic Circle, Sweden has a cold and long winter, even in the capital Stockholm or even in the southernmost part. In winter, in some areas of the far north, people receive very little sunlight. Conversely, in the capital Stockholm, during the summer, the sun don't set until 10 p.m., and even in a snowboarding area in the far north of Sweden, the sun shines both day and night for 56 consecutive days in the summer, from mid-May to mid-July. To learn about Sweden, let's talk a bit more about the capital city Stockholm. It's considered a city on the sea, because it's surrounded by the sea and lakes. The capital of Sweden is located on 14 different islands, where you can see beautiful small roads winding around the islands and harbors. With its stunning scenery, this is an ideal place for tourists to take walks or enjoy a relaxing bike ride. One thing I want to emphasize again is that two-thirds of Sweden's area is covered by forests. Sweden has a lot of forests, and among them, half of the forests are owned by the people, and a quarter of the forest area is owned by private companies. The total forest area of Sweden is 280,650 square kilometers. Therefore, the forest area in Sweden is almost as large as entire country of Italy. In terms of population, Sweden's population reached 10,613,000 people by the end of 2020, making it the most populous country on the Scandinavian peninsula. Sweden surpassed the 10 million mark for the first time in January 2017. Immigration has been the main cause of population growth and cultural change throughout Sweden's history. After World War II, the country transitioned from being a purely emigration country to a purely immigration country. Although there are no exact figures on the ethnic origins of immigrants and their descendants in Sweden, because the government here only records the national origins of immigrants. As of now, 24.9% of the population are immigrants, mainly from countries such as Syria, Iraq, Finland, Iran, and Turkey. The remaining 75.1% of the population are Swedes, and those who have settled here for at least 20 generations, including the Sami people, Jewish, and some other ethnic minority groups. So, what about Sweden's economy? Sweden is a member of the EU, but they don't use the euro as their main currency. Instead, they still use their own currency, the krona. In Sweden, there's a unique, 51.4% of its GDP comes from tax revenue. Sweden is one of the highest taxed countries in the world, but the people here are very happy with this, because in Swedish the word tax means treasure. Calling Sweden a paradise is not just because of its beautiful and majestic natural landscapes, but also because of the country's social welfare that makes citizens of other countries envious. 
There's a joke that goes like this. If you were born in Sweden, you're really very lucky. Now, let's take a look at some prominent social welfare aspects in this country. In Sweden, parents are entitled to 480 days of paid parental leave when they have a child, which can be used until the child reaches 18 years old. Nowadays, 90 out of the 480 days of parental leave are allocated for fathers. That's why when you walk around the streets of Sweden, you often see fathers pushing strollers, while the remaining 390 days are reserved for women. Sweden is one of the countries with the highest life expectancy in the world. The average life expectancy for men in Sweden is 80, and for women, is 84. Swedes also spend more time on education than most people in the world. The average age of students is 25.5. 40% of women and 30% of men aged 25 to 64 participate in educational courses, a much higher percentage compared to other countries in the world. Sweden is also the homeland of the Nobel Prize. Sweden has the honor of awarding all Nobel Prizes, except for the Nobel Peace Prize, which is awarded in Norway. So far, Sweden has received a total of 30 Nobel Prizes in the fields of science and five Nobel Peace Prizes. The Nobel Prize was founded by the Swedish chemist, Alfred Nobel. He had many great inventions, most notably his dynamite, which is still widely used in military and construction today. When he passed away, in his will, he stated that 94% of his fortune should be dedicated to serving science, honoring achievements, and providing opportunities for genuine scientists to continue their research and make advancements for humanity. Now, we will explore some interesting facts about Sweden. The public water fountains in Sweden are so clean that you can drink directly from them without any concerns. This is one of the few countries in the world where you can safely drink water directly from public fountains. Every year, the people of Sweden consume around 20 million cakes, an impressive number for a country with only about 10 million inhabitants. This shows that cakes are not just a sweet treat, but also an essential part of Swedish cultural life and celebrations. A prime example is the princess torta cake, with its vibrant green marzipan shell and smooth fresh cream, which is always present at birthday parties, anniversaries, and family events. Each piece of cake not only a dessert, but also a way for the Swedish people to share joy and foster community bonds. In Sweden, there's no need to wait for a special occasion to enjoy cake, because the love for this sweet treat has become a daily habit. This explains why the consumption of cake is enormous each year and cake has become a symbol of simple happiness in the lives of the Swedish people. The subway stations and captivating artistic creations. Subway stations in Sweden are not only places for transportation, but also the largest underground art museum in the world, with over 90 out of 100 stations in Stockholm decorated by artists. Each station has its own style and story, turning the daily commute into an inspiring journey. From vibrant murals, unique sculptures, to creatively installed art pieces, Sweden's subway system is a lively art space where culture and art intertwine. For example, t central Station with its peaceful blue and white tones creates a feeling of stepping into another world, while Solna Centrum Station offers a majestic natural scene with striking red and green hues. The interesting thing is that people can enjoy art even when rushing to work, school, or simply enjoying a moment of relaxation in the bustling city. Sweden has proven that creativity can be present anywhere, even in the most unexpected places. Now, let's explore some famous landmarks of this northern European country. First is Kalmar Castle, the symbol of the ancient city of Kalmar, Sweden. This ancient castle overlooking the sea, with a history of 800 years, it exudes a nostalgic beauty that makes anyone feel like they've stepped into a fairy tale world. This place is not only an attractive tourist spot, but also one of the great historical symbols of the country. When visiting this ancient castle, tourists not only get to admire the beautiful scenery, but also have the opportunity to participate in activities that recreate the lifestyle of the past century, such as feasts or unique and fascinating ancient weddings, attracting many visitors. The town of Visby is known as one of the most famous tourist destinations and the gateway to explore Gotland. 
With its medieval architecture, it's no wonder that this place is recognized by UNESCO as a World Heritage Site. Come here, you can admire the houses with red rose-covered gable roofs, that's why it's called the Town of Roses. The winding cobblestone streets throughout the town, impressive ancient fortresses create beautiful moments. Moreover, you can explore the unique ways of brewing and enjoying coffee, a standout specialty in Gotland. And with that, we come to the end of our journey exploring Sweden, and we must conclude our discovery of this country. Thank you for watching the video. This is a story about Sweden, the land that never sleeps. I'm Honey Badger. Don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel to get the latest videos. Now, goodbye and see you in the next videos.